Welcome to this video with an example of analyzing determinate structures. This is one of several videos in a short course on equilibrium posted at Tiriaz Toolbox, a website that contains notes, examples, and algorithms for structural analysis. The truss considered in this video is no more complex than what we saw in the previous video in this course. As a matter of fact, it is just another statically determinate truss with a reasonable number of members and a few externally applied loads. The purpose of this video is simply to reinforce the analysis procedure, rather than analyzing all the joints in detail. Notice that we have started by determining the reaction forces by global equilibrium of the truss. That is always a good idea. Next, we address joint A on the very left-hand side. It has a known force equal to 3 kN, which is an externally applied load on the truss, and it has two unknown member forces. With two or less unknown forces we can determine the unknowns by equilibrium. Again, we use the graphical approach, which involves closed force polygons, which follows these three steps at each joint. First, draw all force directions on the joint, even those that are unknown. Second, put the known forces down on paper and play around with the direction of the unknown forces in order to close the force polygon. In this case, that is a triangle. Once we have applied geometry, namely comparing the force polygon to a similar shape found in the structure, we find the force values. The third step is to put those values, plus the direction of the arrows, back on the joint, which is here seen on the right-hand side. The adjacent joint B is addressed next. The horizontal 3 kN force is known from the analysis of joint A. The vertical 3 kN force is an externally applied load. The other two member forces are unknown. This figure shows one way of making the blue arrows bring the path of the force polygon back to the starting point of the known red arrows. The final result for joint B is shown on the right-hand side. Proceeding in exactly this manner through all the joint of the truss gives the axial force values shown at the bottom of this slide. Thanks for watching this video. Please visit Tiriaz Toolbox for more videos and more material relevant for the modern structural engineer. See you soon!